It's the second time Jacqueline Johnson cried next to her son Kendrick's grave. The first time he was being lowered into the ground. This time he's being pulled out of it. Did you ever expect you'd have to exhume his body? No, I didn't expect to have to bury his body. In June, Kendrick's body was sent to Florida. The Johnsons hired Dr. Bill Anderson to conduct an independent second autopsy. In that autopsy, Anderson told the Johnsons he'd found evidence that Kendrick died as the result of a blow to the neck and not accidental asphyxia after slipping into a rolled gym mat at school, as investigators in Georgia had said. But what Dr. Anderson did not find shocked them. When we got the body uh, for the second autopsy, that organs, the heart, lungs, liver, etc., were not with the body. The brain? The brain. They were all absent. Every organ from the top of Kendrick's head to his pelvis, gone. And his family had no idea. We have been let down again. And when we buried Kendrick, we thought we were burying Kendrick, not half of Kendrick. Uh, I'm not sure at this point who did not return the organs to the body, but I know when we got the body, uh, the organs were not there. So CNN contacted the two entities that had custody of Kendrick's body and access to his organs. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, which conducted the first autopsy in January, and Harrington Funeral Home, which the Johnsons chose to embalm and prepare Kendrick's body for burial days later. A spokeswoman for the state tells CNN after its autopsy, the organs were placed in Johnson's body, the body was closed, then the body was released to the funeral home. State investigators say it's their normal practice, but what happened after his body arrived at the funeral home was anything but normal. What was in the place of the organs? Newspaper. Newspaper. Dr. Anderson showed me the pictures of Kendrick's body he'd taken during the second autopsy. It's a Black Friday ad, J.C. Penney ad. Yes. Stuffing that newspaper in like he was a garbage can inside his body. It's unbelievable. I'd imagine that that's a different kind of pain. Yeah. Why do you think that there would be newspaper stuffed in, in your child? I never heard of that before. Never. Neither had the founder of a national embalming academy contacted by CNN who said it's not consistent with the standards of care in the industry nor had the president of the National Association of Medical Examiners, who told CNN he's never heard of this practice. Why would the funeral home discard his organs and stuff them with newspaper? The question is, why did he tell us? So what exactly did the Harrington Funeral Home do with Kendrick's organs? And why was he stuffed with old newspaper? We went to their office to find out, but their response to us, no comment. However, in a letter to the Johnson's attorney, Harrington Funeral Home owner Antonio Harrington denies he received Kendrick's organs. He writes in part, his internal organs were destroyed through natural process and henceforth were discarded before the body was sent back to Valdosta. It's another disappointing answer for parents determined to know what happened to their son before and now after his death. And they admit they're struggling. Unbearable, just about. Only thing that gives you, wakes you up in the morning is just to keep pushing. And Victor Blackwell joins us now. I, I mean, uh, this is a unbelievable newspaper inside this young man's body. I understand there's an investigation into where Kendrick Johnson's organs went and why. What do we know about it? Well, Anderson, we contacted the Georgia Secretary of State's office because they issued licenses to funeral homes. We wanted to check on the history of Harrington Funeral Home. And when we told them why we were calling, they decided that they, too, wanted to know where are Kendrick Johnson's organs, and they wanted to know more about this process, this practice of stuffing bodies with newspapers, something that they'd never heard of either. How was the family's autopsy doctor able to determine the cause of death, then? Yeah, I asked him, if the organs aren't there, how can you determine how uh, Kendrick died? Well, he says that 
Essentially, blunt force trauma was not in the organs. It was in the right side jaw, which was actually noted as bruised during the paramedics report on the day he was found. He dissected the jaw, which had not been dissected in the first autopsy, found bleeding under the skin. He dissected the left side as well, did not find the bleeding, and he concluded that that bruising indicated, also with the bleeding, that there was blunt force trauma, that Kendrick took that blow to the neck. You know, Victor, one, one thing I, I hadn't noticed, and actually a viewer uh, who, who works in gyms noticed and tweeted me about this uh, the other day, was that it looks like all the mats are rolled really tightly, except for the one that Kendrick was found in. That seems to have had a large uh, opening.